And this represents a variation of the circular scheme. Most of the cities are based on natural configurations, the atomic structure, basic designs in nature. The center of the city might be related to studies of the human organism. This center here may be studies of diseases of the eye, other systems, diseases of the nervous system, an all-out research project on enhancing the lives of men. There are no military programs or projects in socio-cybernearing. There's no need for an army? No need for an army. Now, what if one people decides to attack another people? We then invite, after the first city is built, we tend to go socio cybernearing International to invite the participation of all nations of the world into a system of monitoring the Earth and using the Earth to enhance the lives of men. What about the, what, if, what, if, what if one group of people get together and attack another group of people? We believe that is done due to scarcity or that a society suffers from economic deprivation, lack of arable land area, or overpopulation. Now, you believe it would not occur? It if... would not occur. What is this wild looking thing? This is clean sources of power. By utilizing the natural heat of the earth, that is volcanic energy, or the magma, or the molten lava under the earth, of which there are approximately 500 potentials. If we tap a, m a mountain in Hawaii called Mount Aloha, we can get enough power to electrify the world. We can get enough power from that volcano alone. We have 500 potential volcanoes we can harness. We can use that natural heat from the volcano. No smog, no smoke, no dirt, no gases, no fuels, no oil spills, and no more burning of fuels in any city to generate power. If Japan used Fujiyama, they don't need to burn oil. They don't need oil. All of that heat is sitting there. 20 million years of power right under the Earth's surface. In fact, you don't even need to use fusion power or nuclear power. And it's easy to tap, and it's clean and available. And as soon as we make up our minds to put scientists, rather than on weapons, nerve gas, on harnessing the Earth power that is already here. Now, how are you going to get the president of Florida Power and Light or Shell Oil to uh, give uh, up... Socio-cybernearing does not appeal to governments, to private enterprise. We're going to do this thing just as the automobile phased out the stagecoach, just as television stepped in and phased out the old vaudeville and the old motion pictures, that history and technology is respecters of no society, no individual opinions, but it moves on. And we've got to be prepared to face the future. Socio-cybernearing will tackle some of the most ambitious projects in the history of man. This represents the building of underwater dams within the Gulf Stream. This dam will collect, direct, and route the waters of the sea into a spillway that is centrifugally shaped so that fish and marine life are separated from the turbine blades. The Gulf Stream will generate power to oxygenate the waters, to eliminate the red tide, to, to pick up the amount of fish in the ocean, to monitor marine life, and build an eco ecological relationship between the total oceanographic world and the continents. Mm -hmm. Areas where we've gone in for strip mining and loused up the land by digging out the areas, shamefully pitting the, the surface of the United States, we feel we can build underground art cities, music centers, landscaped areas with gardens and lakes, and reclaim those areas. Now this looks like a train station. After or... the automobile is phased out, which we hope to do very rapidly, we hope to build a new transportation system and also phase out all forms of aircraft except surveillance. Aircraft I mean, helicopters. Have, we think aircraft are no longer necessary. In fact, the skies are so jammed and landing is so difficult and the speeds and the shockwave are no longer worth working on. I know the people in the aircraft business do not understand this, nor do they feel this, because they feel that all institutions tend to perpetuate themselves. We hope to phase out the airplane by desi designing transportation units that can move up to 2,000 miles an hour floating on a, a magnetic repulsive field or an air cushion. And in those huge trains of tomorrow, there'll be television, radio, amusement, art centers, classrooms, not a group of seats lined up as your trains are today, highly regimented society, whether you know it or not. This society 
will be different in its transportation means. If 40 or 50 people have to leave the train, we slow up to 100 miles an hour, lift off the passenger section, or slide it off and slide on a section with the passengers getting on. You don't have to stop the whole plane or the train. Today, when three people are getting off, you land the airplane and three or four people get off. In the future, we will just shove off those passengers getting <laughs> off and that freight leaving. Uh, uh, how will this go from, say, Miami to London? Uh, we, we then have an underwater project in which tunnels are suspended 125 feet beneath the surface of the sea. Therefore, you eliminate most of the ocean-going transportation system. You're not subject to the weather or anything else. This is part of the linear acceleration train that can take you anywhere in the world in just a few hours, safely, without snow, rain, being lost at sea, are all these things, the weather. Are all these things you're saying, Jacques, uh, could they be built with what we know today, or are some of these things, are you guessing, based on what we know today? No. All of these things can be built with what we know today. It would take 10 years to change the surface of the earth, to rebuild the world into a second Garden of Eden. The choice lies with you. The stupidity of a nuclear arms race, the development of weapons, trying to solve your problems politically by electing this political party or that political party, that all politics is immersed in corruption. Let me say it again. Communism, socialism, fascism, the Democrats, the liberals, we want to absorb human beings, women's lib, all organizations that believe in a better life for man, there are no Negro problems or Polish problems or Jewish problems or Greek problems or women's problems. They're human problems. To come into socio-cybernearing and take your part and function, we are not concerned with the divisions of segments of society. No uh, control of population? Population control is dependent upon education. We feel an educated population needs no control. You wouldn't stop sex? No, sir. Mm. Good mm. move, Jacques. What's this? Some individuals may want to live in a way out house. How far way out, how far out you want to live, would be determined by your value system and your lifestyle. It is not a restricted society. It is not a 1984. It is not a brave new world, but it's something brand new. We would like you to investigate socio-cyberneering. No, I'm going to give the address out of people who'd like to know more about, ooh, the next one looks really weird. Some people may want to live in a different kind of home. I myself, I'm interested in world affairs, ecological changes, therefore the walls would have panoramic screens giving me the kind of information that I am interested in. Your home may be different, designed to fit your needs. The homes will now, be molded. No one will rapidly. pay the builder of the home, he no. will not receive money? No. Why will he build the home? What he doesn't insane. build a home. The homes are built through systems engineering in which we can form a home every half hour by blowing the floor up out of the ground so that we have out, up out of the plastic unit which the floor is comprised of. We blow and shape the furniture and then spray the furniture. In other words, if you're going to be here, if the United States is going to be here for the next 20 years, you can't have a plumber install the toilet bowl and the sink and the shower in the same old hand tool fashion that was done 40 years ago. We've got to make a quantum jump, mold maybe 15 different types of bathrooms. You pick out that which you like, the bathroom is self-cleaning, self-drying, and we install it in your architecture based upon your selection. What, uh, uh, it will be so hard to change, you know, How a lot of these things sound fascinating, but you, to, in order to accomplish any of this, you, you require, to me, a change of the human. The human value system. Yeah. We feel that if enough human beings are...